guys are familiar with this series. I've done a number of these already. It's watching movie trailers and then we guess the review scores, right? Simple enough, but I've complicated things by adding money. I saw a couple people having problems saying like they don't understand how the scoring works. So I bought this whiteboard to explain it to you. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna get high. So of course, anytime you watch a movie, the review score will either be somewhere between zero and a hundred. After we watch the movie trailer, I then make a guess. Let's say I guess a movie trailer score is 22%. 22%. I forgot how to make a percent symbol. Now, as you guys have seen, I'm very, very good at this game. So usually I'm guessing right on the money. But just to make things a little bit more fun for me, I get a little bit of wiggle room. I get 8% on either side of 22%. So 22 minus 8 is 14. 22 plus 8 is 30. So basically, when I guess 22%, I get a 16% gap. Now last time I gave myself 6% on either side, and I got 4 out of the 5 wrong, and then the video got copyright claimed, so I made no money on it, and then I just lost all that money. <laughs> so I was hoping to invest the money I made on the video and give that to you guys, but since I lost all the money on the video, I, it's out of pocket. Speaking of last video, I picked 4 winners by hearting their comments. And all of them did not come back to claim their prize. <laughs> Madam Fluffy, Darth X Mommy, M M M M Her Three Eye, and Regina Lopez all won. If you guys want to claim your prize, go back to that last video and edit your comment with your Venmo, and I'll pay you $100 each. If you do not claim it by next Saturday, I'm just gonna pick four winners off of this video on top of the winners that win if I guess things wrong, which will probably be zero because I'll just guess everything right. We're gonna set this up the same way too. So if this video gets 50,000 likes by next week Saturday when I pick the winners, it'll go from $50 to $100. So it's $50 for every winner. If it gets 50,000 likes, then it's $100 for every winner. I put out a Google form so you guys could recommend movie trailers to me. We're gonna start with He's All That though, because this is a new Addison Ray movie. And you guys know I'm the biggest Addie fan. I'm an Addie Rayer, or whatever her fan base is called. Mm. And action. We're live here, and surprise, we're on the set of my boyfriend's brand new music video. What are you doing? Okay, let's not freak out. What are you doing? We're over, okay? You're still alive. Oh, shit. Breakups are hard. I was humiliated. You're is that supposed to be the mom? Breakup. <laughs> this woman's 31. No way she has this high school daughter. Stop. <laughs> Hard. I was humiliated. You're going viral in the wrong way. You're going viral for having your boyfriend cheat on you? You think the internet doesn't have a conscience? Well, certain parts of the internet don't have a conscience. But for the most part, people are gonna forgive you for acting out a little bit if your boyfriend cheating on you. Like, oh, you want a snot bubble. Look at this, look at this. Snot bubble, gross. Bitch, her boyfriend just cheated on her. Fuck you. Makeovers are my thing. When I first met him, he was 120 pounds. Who the fuck is that guy? He's all that cast. Peyton Meyer. Why does he look familiar? Courtney Kardashian's in this. <laughs> this film's gonna be so good, guys. Peyton Meyer. Oh, he's from Girl Meets World. Oh, the worst show to ever exist. Girl, if you've never seen Boy Meets World, that is a classic. Uh, if you ever have kids, or if you have kids now, when they turn like 10, 12, 14, I don't know, somewhere in their teenage years, make them watch Boy Meets World. I guarantee you they're gonna turn out to be great people. Girl Meets World, on the other hand, it was like, how do we make TV? I don't know. Do you just talk lines and say stuff? This guy was awful in it as well. He was probably the worst actor in the show and no one could act. I will create the next prom king. You make it sound so easy. A bet? Oh. I'm in. Just so you don't make it too easy. From who? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, from, from who? The director of what film? Not the American classic Mean Girls. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Just so you don't make it too easy on yourself. We'll pick the guy. Queller, I think. He is a total disaster. Weird. Antisocial. I figured since you and I are friends. Ah, uh, friends? Why would they pick, like, <laughs> if you were like in my high school or any high school and you could pick a guy, you wouldn't pick the guy who's like physically fit and handsome but just has a bad haircut. You'd pick the loseristy of losers. Pick a fat kid. What are you doing? I'm gonna pick the really handsome guy, but he wears a beanie, so he's a loser. You'll never be able to make him popular. Fuck you. It's capturing the moment. Oh, fat kid. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Uh, disgusting. <laughs> and then she just bursts out laughing, and it's the fakest laugh ever. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is acting, right? This is how you act, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> a little scruffy, but cute. Why? Is she Kourtney Kardashian in this film? Actually, let's go back. Yeah, she's playing herself. She doesn't have a character. So kiss. You just gave him a haircut and put a fucking blazer on him. That's all you did. I, I hate you. So I was a bet. You can all go to hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cobra Kai comes out. <laughs> I really screwed up, Mom. Did you just show this whole film? Watch how, this is like the climax too. I really screwed up, mom. Listen to this line delivery. I really screwed up, mom. I really screwed up, mom. How do I fix this problem? <laughs> hey guy, I really like you and I shouldn't let my popularity get in the way of judging you for your uh, things that you like and your hobbies. Do you want a date now? Come in for a cast. Mm -hmm. Here's my thing, like Addison, pick a fucking thing. Don't make, a, don't make one song and then have that song be like this super generic pop thing. And then be like, oh no, now I want to go act. And then this acting is like super subpar. Focus on one thing that you really like and then go into that thing and put your all into it. And then fucking nail it and be so good at it that no one can talk shit about it. This is horrible. You didn't practice at all for acting, did you? I hate this. This film is a 4% a on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, oh, oh, it's coming out soon. Oh, fuck. That might be a movie commentary. Now let's go over to your submissions. I, I asked you guys to submit movie trailer names, and then I'll just go, I'll go and pick some random ones here. Forever My Girl. What's this one? This one sounds good. Okay, so it's three years old. Uh, no way, that's you guy. That's not you guy, right? Like Lively, though. Ah, oh, it's about a country singer. Zero percent. Oh, he disappeared. Country legend. I'm sorry about your grandma, Josie. Hey, Liam. Hey, Dad. That was just a warning shot. So this is where you work. I own it. I actually did. Oh wait, that's not that's not Blake Lively. Wait, is she the main character? I could have sworn I saw Blake Lively. That's not Blake Lively. Holy shit. I own it. I actually did something with my life after you. She owns a flower shop. <laughs> Country singer and a flower shop owner. <laughs> Walked out. Hey, mom. Oh. Single. Single with a child. Hey, hey, I know you. You're that country. He's got to win off. He's got to win over the fucking kid, of course. How old are you, Billy? I'm seven. I didn't find out that I was pregnant. She's seven? And until a couple weeks after what was supposed to be our wedding day. Oh, oh, he left her at the altar and she was pregnant and he didn't know? How detached are you? You didn't know that the that's his kid though, right? Turns out I have a daughter. <laughs> what? But I want to get to know Billy. This is moving way too fast. He's been gone for, for nine years or whatever. What do you mean this is moving too fast? You have a kid together. Sometimes you just gotta let go. Take a walk on the wild side. Right, free? Bye, bye. No! Nothing's gonna happen between us. Oh yeah, okay. What happened to you? <laughs> he just dished his fiance and literally disappeared. I was young. I got lost. But you found you'll be back now, right? Oh, they're, he's just, they're gonna brush over that in the film. Guaranteed. Like, I just got lost. Sometimes you get lost. Dog, something concrete. Holy shit. Right here. Do you know the stats on surviving an accident in a convertible? They are low. Staggeringly low. I think this little cute girl is gonna save the film and the rating. Cool. Give you those stats on convertibles, huh? Yep. I don't know. I don't hate it. <laughs> Forever, my girl. All right. Let me, uh... God. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Let me, uh, let me draw this out for the first one so that, you know, everyone gets it. Also, so I can spell my marker again. <laughs> so my first baseline thought is positive or negative. Is it above 50% or below 50%? I feel like there's going to be some warmth to the like the kids scenes it seems like decently acted although like the story is cliche and cringy and country and a lot of reviewers are probably you know more coastal people uh at all place it, you gotta think about all the factors here <sighs> sorry i'm just trying to <laughs> get so high that the number just comes to me i'm gonna go 56 percent. 56 so i get 48 to uh, 64. 48 to 64 is my range. And the answer is... 
No, 24. It's those postal reviewers. I'm telling you. I thought the little girl was gonna save it. She was decent. They must have just used all the good stuff in the trailer. I should have known. Sentimental trek of the fluffiest order. All right, 50 bucks or 100 bucks to someone in the comment section. Doesn't matter. Just comment one time. Swiss Army man. Let's check it out. Maybe. 18 million views. Oh. Daniel Radcliffe. What's going on, Danny? <laughs> 824. That's our first clue, right? A24 is a well-respected studio. And he's hanging himself. What? <laughs> it won an award? And the first joke starts with suicide and then farting? I'm all over the place. I was like, okay, it's gonna be an intense film. And then this guy just farts. Wait, wait, wait is he dead? Okay, buddy. <laughs> or I'm just hallucinating from starvation. Who's special? Oh. Ah! Wait, he's dead? And he's just hallucinating, I'm assuming? And there's seven billion people on the planet. You might be lucky enough to bump into the one person you want to spend the rest of your life with. It's a love story? He fell in love with the corpse? I don't know. I This is confusing the hell out of me. Great suggestion. Whoever suggested this. A film by Daniels? So we got a director who only has one name. First name, last name, probably last name. Unless there's two Daniels. Or maybe there's like four Daniels. I don't know. There's no cap here. There could be like 12 Daniels directing this film. I wouldn't know. It could just be like all the Daniels. Swiss Army Man, let's just go back to the board. The board is for you. The board is not for me just to sniff. Oops. <laughs> it got like Sundance Awards and shit, but it, it won the Sundance Award for Best Director or something. Not Best Film. Clues here. Also, reviewers are more coastal. This takes place on a coast. <laughs> I'm gonna guess... 67%. So that means I have 59 to 75. And the score is 72. That's in my range. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Look at me. Look at me. Celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the same? Yeah, I'm pretty good at this fucking game. No biggie. Yes, God, yes. 2020? Is this a religious thing? It sounds kind of sexual. Oh, this is a uh, Stranger Things girl. They're saying you toss a salad. I mean, I've never even heard of dressing someone salad. You are here as a part of God's plan. His spirit moved each of you. He's gonna be a douche. That guy's gonna be a douche. 100%. His spirit moved each. She's attracted to him too quickly. Each of you to sign up for this retreat. No, nope, he's too handsome. And then not handsome in a leading movie role. A bit handsome in like a villainous role. Alice, right? Yeah. Welcome. Ah! Stranger Things and 13 Reasons Why Collide? Alice, this retreat isn't going to do you any favors if you're not honest. So have you ever felt turned on? You've got mail. I am friends with a pervy psycho. Oh, I'm all wet. Calm down, Gail. I'm not that wet. Yeah. Is this funny? No. What are you doing? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. That guy's not the villain? You're all hiding stuff. All kinds of stuff. Creepy. Too creepy. Not into it. <laughs> I was right. I was right about being religious and that also being sexual. I hated the trailer. I'm gonna guess like 30, 36%, 28 to 45, 28 to 46. Ah! How? Flatly filmed, drably lit, and sluggishly paced, yes, God, yes, takes a cheeky premise and slowly lets the air out of it. Out of it. <laughs> you can read it for yourself. You don't need me reading for you anyways. Look at the audience score. The audience knows what's up. God, reviewers are the fucking worst. They don't know anything. I say talking about a film that I've never seen before. <laughs> oh, I should, I, you know what? I didn't factor in something. It was like an 80s, 90s film. So all these reviewers are literally those people. They lived through that era. I should have thought about this. They romanticize their own 
like time period growing up. That's another 50 bucks or 100 bucks to you guys then. Uh, let's go deeper because I've gotten thousands of suggestions. Let's go here. Jack and Jill? Sounds like a horror film. Ah, no, what? It's an Adam Sandler film? <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it, let's do it. I don't care. That's the last one. There's one person who drives you a little crazy. I gotta pick Jill up at four in the morning. But during the holidays... I hate myself. No fighting this year. There's no escaping it when it... It's a Christmas film? I love Christmas films, but I'm gonna hate this one. I just need one big long sniff to make it through this. I just need to get high and escape my problems. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Are you going bald? Huh? No, 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 you're getting fatter and your hair doesn't realize it needs to cover more face. Okay. From the producers of Just Go With It and Grown Ups. <laughs> she isn't subtle. I put a little list together of things I want to do before I leave. Studio tour, horseback riding. Let's go! Oh! oh my god! And she isn't leaving. Guess who is taking you to the Lakers game? Finally some twin time! Well, it's a Mr. Pacino. What this? You got me this is insane! You know all he wants to do is play Twister with your sister. I wanna die. <laughs> if someone- You don't get on a boat in an Adam Sandler film without someone falling off the boat. It's just a matter of if it's in the trailer or not. Some twins can feel when the other one's hurt. I didn't feel it. A little harder. No, Jill, stop it. What? Oh! <laughs> I actually did feel something there. Pride in my son. Jack and Jill, uh... What's the base? What is the absolute lowest base? Because there's gonna be some people who will just support like, Oh, it's Adam Sandler fun! Although that's not like a large critic crowd. I say the base is probably... 9%? The peak is probably like 28%. Uh, you know what? Let's go 17%. Jack and Jill, 17%. So I only get to 25, so I get... Uh, 9 to 25. <laughs> I, fuck me. How do I lose? I literally guessed such a low score, and I still lost. <laughs> 3%. Alright, that's fucking enough. That's more than enough. I, I literally don't know. I lost count of everything that I was keeping track of. I'll look it up afterwards and I'll put it here. This is the amount of people that will win. And then on top of that, we got the four people. If you won last time, go back to that video, edit your comment, put your PayPal in there. I'll send you a hundred bucks. And if you don't, then I'll just pick four extra winners next week, Saturday, by just hearting your comments. It'll be random. If I heart your comments, edit your comments, and then just put your PayPal on the end of it. And then I'll send you a hundred bucks, 50 bucks. Unless this gets 50,000 likes. Thank you for watching. You know I love you. Ooga booga!